You are now tuned in to The Money Zone with your host, Falasha Day, the accountant for entrepreneurs. The time is now, your future waits, your money matters, make no mistake, it's not too late to dominate, so don't delay, get your money straight. The money, money, the money zone, together we'll achieve your goals, we're building wealth, you're not alone, so don't delay, get your money straight. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm over here real lit. Like y'all don't even understand the life of being an entrepreneur, man. If you if you if you follow me on Instagram, you saw the real photo I put. I was like blown, right? Then I had to put the fake face on for the show. Come and tune in, Rip Radio. But no, I'm excited to be with you guys, regardless of what's happening in the business, regardless of what's happening on in my life. I'm excited to be here once again on Rip Radio Network, The Money Zone. I'm your host, Falasha Day, the accountability accountant, guys. I have some amazing content for you guys that we might throw in a little few entrepreneur um, entrepreneur strategies. But I'm talking about in segment one, every business needs accounting. Let me go ahead and change that up. Every business needs Falasha Day, the accountant. Let me, that's what I'm about to say. Every business needs me. Not just accounting. You need me because yeah, it's not even done the way that I do it. And then in segment number two, five-year in business tips for small businesses. So if you are a small business or you know a small business owner or a.k.a. an entrepreneur, right, you want to go ahead on, share the feed if you're watching us on live stream. If you are watching us on Radio Network, go ahead on and share it. We can get some people over there as well. But let your entrepreneur friend know, hey, Falasha Day about to talk about some business tips and you want to be successful going into 2020 so I advise you to tune in because guess what if I were you I'll be tuning in and taking notes so guys don't forget if you're not following me on all things social media please head over to IG Facebook and everywhere else and follow me on all things philosophy and accounting guys and we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back okay
Welcome back. I want to say thank you so much for allowing us to take that quick break. Y'all should already know the ones that watch me behind the scene, right? That's my time to get kind of like set up organize and you know everything in order but i'm excited to be here because we have one more show next week and that'll be our last show for 2020 but before i leave you guys in 2019 i wanted to first just have a real real heart to heart discussion with a lot of you because as a brown skin business owner i've heard this saying at every um barbecue at every family event the moment that I tell people that I you know I had my business or I'm an accountant and everything else the first thing that I hear out of everybody's mouth is oh no startup no small business need accounting but if I was white or a different race, that's not even said. But in the African-American community, that is the topic of discussion. Oh, you know, you don't need an accountant. You, you know, you can do your QuickBooks on your own. You can do it on your own. And you, know, you can do it. You know, all they're doing is using a software. You know, like for real, for real, that is a lie. You, I, all of us have been lied, and this is why we have 2.6 million businesses in the United States of America and only 109,000, which mine is, have employees, okay? It's simply because the difference between those businesses that have 109,000, they more than likely hired an accountant. And the ones that don't, they try to wing it. And guess what? They're constantly winging it. And what's also said, said about it is that according to the Census Bureau, okay, the recent data shows that the average black-owned business only makes $53,000. $53,000. What the could you do with $53,000, Okay. That is nothing. $53,000 is chump change. $53,000 is average. $53,000 is close to the poverty level. Let's really be honest out here. $53,000, you still qualify for earned income credit, so you really poor, okay? You poor. So for every person that have ever said that you don't need an accountant, tell them run me their check because you do. For every client that have hired me from the moment that they started their business, I have doubled, quadrupled their revenue. And in addition to that, saved them thousands. I'm talking about five to six figures, thousands of dollars in mistakes and costly bad investments. But because you brown, because you hear online, because you read everywhere, you hear that you don't need an accountant. You've been lied to like Maury. Boop. You've been lied to. There's all time. So we're about to talk about doing the first segment of the Money Zone exclusively on RipRadioNetwork.com. We're about to talk about why every business need accounting. Because I'm about to debunk this stuff. I want y'all to be so successful. That is the only way that I can achieve my goal in life is to help African Americans become economically included. Is by letting you guys know that you've been lied to about not having no accounting. This is why you can't get a loan. This is why you overspend in investments. This is why you cannot level up your business as quickly as other, um, as, as other cultures. Because we've been lied to our whole lives. We suffering from a lack of knowledge, and we're suffering because you guys listen to what everybody else is saying. Tell them, show you their financial statements. Y'all listen to people that don't even make fifty thousand dollars out here. Like, come on now, y'all listen to people that don't even make fifty thousand dollars. I'm about to sit here and run circles on y'all, and I don't even have a product based business. All y'all out here, y'all can really be doing it. So let's go ahead and take heed. So number one, okay. The first reason why you want to have your accounting in order is because it allows you to see how well your business is performing. Those Excel spreadsheets don't cut it, okay? You having your uh, receipts in boxes, that don't cut it, okay? You not doing anything with your records, don't cut it. You need to see at every given point in your business lifespan from year to year, month to month, week to week, day to day. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, no, who calling? Okay, who calling the office? Okay, no, you supposed to see where your business stand in any given day. This is why black businesses are failing because you guys don't speak accounting. According to the school of Wharton, okay, the school of Wharton, one of the top schools in the country, in the world, says that accounting is the language of business. And you wonder why black businesses are suffering because we're not speaking accounting. We're not speaking numbers. We're not speaking what the 
rich people are speaking, but everybody want to be rich. Hey, hey, they want to be rich. Every rich person say, oh, you know, before I go ahead and make this investment, I'm going to call my accountant. Do, 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 do. Oh, you know, Felicia Day, you know, such and such just told me that um, if we were to do this or, you know, they can help me invest this, what do you think? Right? Y'all black folks out here like, ma, ma, bro said, bro said, you know, if, if I do this, like, now, I'm not trying to be real funny out here, but that's the reality that we're facing it right now. You guys are not talking to the people that help people make decisions. I am the one that majority of the people that makes financial decisions in the world, they communicate with. Accountants rule the world. We are the ones that help businesses keep all the money. You guys mad at Amazon. Thank the accountant. You guys mad at Google. Thank the accountant. You guys mad at all of your influencers online. Thank the accountant, okay? Because guess what? It was our strategies and everything that helped them level up. So number one reason why every business needs accounting, I don't care where you are in business, the moment you spend or make a dollar or, or, or invest the dollar, your numbers need to account for that. Remember, the root word of accounting is account, okay? That involves money. Anytime money is handed or distributed or divided or whatever the case may be, it involves your accounting, straight up. So, guys, if you're watching us anywhere, Root Radio Network or Facebook, go ahead and share the video. Let your friends know. Falash, they going to have It's the end of the year. I'm trying to change our lives. I don't do all of that fluff stuff. So, if you want me to be real fluffy, I'm not even big enough to be that fluffy. I'm a toothpick over here, okay? So, we don't even do the fluff. We going up in 2020, and I'm changing lives because that's what I want to do. I want everybody to be wealthy. I'm not trying to sit on my meal and y'all sitting there like, oh, Felicia, they told me she was about to do it. Like, because that's what y'all about to do. Me and my team about to leave y'all right hand to hand. Everybody, play with me if you think. If you think you could build your business without hiring me, you done made a major mistake. So number two, it allows your accounting allow you guys to understand <laughs> your accounting allow you guys to understand what happened in the past. See, you guys wonder why the banks want to know what's going on or the banks want your financial statements. The banks want to see for real, for real, right? What's happening in that, in that business? What happened last year? What happened last month? What happened a year before that? The bank don't care anything about honesty right now. They're comparing your history. And if you don't understand it, you're supposed to be comparing your history, your history successes, your, your past mistakes, your past successes. But because you guys are, don't have your accounting on order and because you guys think that you can do my job better than me, guess what? You out here losing. You out here losing because you're not even focused on the money. You're not focused on growing and you focused on saving, what, three or four hundred dollars? Come on now. Shame on you guys. The moment that you guys said that you wanted to be a business owner was the moment you said that you want to do your accounting. Accounting is not, a, is, is not extra. It is mandatory. Remember, accounting is the language of business. So the banks, your investor, everybody want to see your past, okay? They want to see what you're doing. What do you bring to the table? They want to know how much money did you make last year. They want to know how much money did you make last month. They want to know how much did you spend. But because you guys don't have your financial statements and you're not working with me, you out here losing. Like 2020 is going to be the year that you guys are going to regret keep playing with your accounting. 2020 is the year that you guys are going to feel bad and sorry. And I'm, I'm the type of person, I'm going to be like, I've been telling y'all, I've been telling y'all, I've been telling y'all, I've been telling y'all, get 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 with me get like i've been telling y'all for how many years have i been live streaming since 2015 i've been live streaming every day since 2015 since 2015 i've been blogging since 2015 i've been on instagram and facebook since 2015 i've been telling all of you guys and every person that started online with me that saw me y'all it's not even making fifty thousand y'all about to make me cry y'all not even making fifty thousand come on now Shame on you.
But we started off the same time. And because I completely started over in 2016, I let go over $175,000 worth of annual revenue to start all over to build my company the way that I want to. So while you guys had y'all little $50,000 playing money, right? I started over in 2016, and guess what? We about to hit a meal 2020. I'm leaving y'all behind. And it's because I use my numbers, it's because I evaluated where I was, what I did, what I didn't do, what I had to do, what team I had to hire, what softwares I needed, what level of success that I wanted to achieve. Because I was brutally honest with myself. Gosh, y'all lying. Look what my boy Gary V said. Look, Gary V been shutting y'all down too, man. All of us are just tired now. We're tired, tired. Go to go. Just go. So Gary B said on his live stream or one of his uh, posts, y'all, he was like, oh, so did that person really go to Bermuda? Like, how do you know, Sway? How did that person, did they really go to Bermuda? Trump, you know they ain't go to Bermuda. They ain't go to Bermuda, Trump. They went and it went to the wells and they laid up. They had to pitch the guy in Nigeria, right? He pushed the sand all the way to the wall and took a picture or whatever, right? And acted like he traveled for real. You can, yes, yes. And then put, you know what, Trump, you right. You can put your location anywhere. Y'all out here falsifying dreams when all the the reality is the dream is right there for you to obtain it. And the moment that you guys accept your reality and say, you know, I'm not where I want to be at, because that's what I say every day. I don't care how much money I make today, how much, right? Guess what? Guess what? I have to be honest with myself about where I'm at. I am not happy. This is, this is small money. I feel like a small boy. Small boy for all of my Niger people. You know what I mean? Small boy. Like, I feel so small right now. Okay. So, number three. Every thing in and out of your business is conveyed through your financial statement. So, what do I mean by that? If you don't have your accounting in order, I cannot guarantee that you guys are paying the only paying what you're supposed to be paying in taxes. I can't guarantee that amount if you're not doing your bookkeeping and doing your accounting. I cannot guarantee that what you say you made was really what you made without you guys doing your financial statements, okay? I cannot. Your financial statements communicate to every external party in the world. The banks doesn't ask you to solely provide them their, your bank statements. When you go to get funding, they ask you for your financial statements. Your financial statements is how you communicate your success, your failure, your growth. Many of you are struggling right now because you don't have your financial statements to show you how well you're doing and to pat yourself on the back like come on now don't you want to be able to say oh my gosh last year I only made 30,000 and now I make 90 one of my clients last year not even last year she signed up with me last year December 4th and you know who you are because I just put the video out there okay she signed up with me December 4th she was making $50,000 50,000 okay she ran me my check consistently every month and did everything that I asked her to do. And now, as of October this year, she made 90000 By the end of the year, she's going to make over $100,000. Because of my strategy, nothing that she did on her own, all my strategy. Hey, I'm going to call her Miss T. Hey, Miss T. Can you do this every month? Okay, Felicia She did 85% of everything that I asked her to do, okay? And she was able to make 90000 by October, okay? When we go into our meeting tomorrow, I'm going to see how much she made in, uh, in November and so far what she made in December. She didn't ran circles in y'all. And y'all been watching me for four and five years online. And y'all been having y'all same little business making 20000 And I'm in birth to even say that I'm associated with you and you don't even want to make the investments. But you buying shoes. You spending more money than me. Y'all traveling more money than me. Y'all traveling more than me. Y'all sitting out here buying Gucci and Pro and, and your kid, man, let me not embarrass the folks out here because I'm tired, Trump. I knew I was about to be hyped today. And then I just got a call from one of my folks. 
Now she might be listening, so I ain't gonna say her name. You know, I don't say nobody's name. But I've been telling her to do my strategy. She been bullshitting on doing my strategies too. And then she did one of my strategies. She don't show you so silly. She done did my strategy over the weekend. She said, ah, today. it's working, it's working. Cause I got that juice guys. I show you how to take your business from where you are and then I position you to make your six figures and make your money and then I can tell you what coach you need to hire at that time to take you to the next level. And then I position you to go to that next level. But y'all out here scared. You can't be scared in business. And that just shows me you lack faith in yourself. You don't lack faith in me or your accountant. You lack faith in yourself because you know you're not out here doing the work. You out here stunting for the gram. And 2020 is the last year I'm hoping that you guys out here stunting for the gram because it's embarrassing. It's embar Y'all out here sharing rooms in Miami talking about you lit. Who do that at 40? Who do that at 30? I'm sorry, Trump, I'm going today. Right, but that's what they do, Trump. They do it. Then they sit there doing. Y'all sit there doing. What's those things when y'all get in a hotel room for like a hundred dollars, man? Y'all out here stunting, man. Come on, I'm over the ground. I'm over it, man. We going into 2020 with abundance. We going in 2020 with our financial statements. We going in 2020 dominating, guys. We going in 2020 living our dreams. We going in 2020 making it reality. And I'm going to go. I'm going in 2020 making y'all rich, my black folks rich. That's what I'm trying to do. So, number four, right, accounting is also, and I think I kind of said this indirectly, guys, and if you don't know, I am always a little lit. I don't care what nobody said. I'm never going to change, right? I'm never going to change. Somebody told me, you need to bring it down. You're, like, too hyped to be an accountant. I was raised in the hood. I'm gutter, okay? And I'm half African, half hood, half American, half all this. So just put it all in a box. And I never worked at corporate America, right? So I never had to put on a fake front for nobody, okay? So just put that in the box. Everybody not going to like me, and that's cool because I don't even need your energy around me. The real people love me. The fakes hate me because I can see through right your facade. Like, but. This is why people don't really like me, because I can feel your facade. Y'all out here living for the gram, and you out here struggling. Like, let's really be honest. So, all right, your accounting is also used, and I kind of said this indirectly, to show your strengths and your weaknesses. And so that's why when you work with me, I use your accounting to leverage. Now, I'm not going to tell you what strategies I do, because the strategies are dependent upon where you are, your industry, and your business, and your financial resources, right? But I use your financial statements to assess your strengths and your weaknesses. And if you guys know me, I have my process of so, S-O-W, strength, weaknesses, and opportunities with the O interlocking the W's. Because meaning if you don't even know how to invest, if your weakness is numbers, you hire me right off the bat. If your weakness is seeing your opportunity, you hire me right off the bat. If your weakness is negotiating, you hire me off the bat. If your weakness is this, you hire me off the bat. Like, you, you know, but knowing your strengths and weaknesses is conveyed through your financial you statements not through your journal <laughs> not through your budget okay okay so y'all height of the budget I got my budget but last day okay and did you keep up with your budget did you utilize your budget did you spend more than your budget that's all the budget could do for real for real personal finance is a piece of finance of accounting okay a piece of it and it does not help you grow your business so if you got a business and you solely per worried about your 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 personal budget shame on you mama shame on you shame on you shame on you so last but not least okay your financial statements allow you to measure yourself up against your competitors, okay? I'm going to say this again. Your financial statements allow you to stand up against your competitors and compare it, okay? So I knew my mission was different because I never wanted to focus solely on my brick and mortar. So most of my competitors, they're just focused on just doing the taxes because they don't have the business acumen like me. They come from corporate America. They had daddy's money. They didn't have to figure out what to do with zero dollars. They didn't open up an office and didn't have no clients. They didn't come from where I come from and had to figure out how to make something out of nothing. So this is why, you know, segment one is everybody need accounting, but everybody need philosophy, the accountant, okay? 
because I know how to make something out of nothing. All of my clients are going viral right now because of my strategies. Every client of mine that is doing the exact work that I asked them to do are making strides and circles around y'all. And the clients that gave up because on me because they wasn't doing the work, look at them now. They're struggling, and I'm sorry to say that. It seems like so mean. I don't care. I don't care if you like if you guys feel like I'm being like mean. Business is mean and cruel, okay? Business will eat your whole life up. Business will suck you up, spit the bones back out and say, "Hey, I want to eat your hair now." That's how business is. There is a dog eat dog eat world. So if you can't be happy right now for me being brutally honest with you and preparing you for the real world, then baby girl, you're not ready for the world of business, okay? Because as I see here, right here on the throne on RipRadioNetwork.com, right, I've been ridiculed, bashed, beat up, stomped up, invited to places to be talked about, okay, almost lost my marriage, almost lost my house, almost lost my car, okay, you know, the whole works, guys. It comes with the territory. You're asking for God to provide you with limitless abundance, not only in your finances, but in your marriages and your relationships. You're asking the universe to give you everything you dream of. Why would you think it will be easy? Shame on you. Shame on you. So if you don't think you need a county after watching this, go ahead and keep struggling in 2020. I'm going to do circles around every last one, and y'all are going to keep being a spectator. But I want you to be on the team and play. But you guys scared. You hopping on every MLM and you never even tried to make one work. You hopping on every business idea and every influencer thinking that that's the next thing popping, the next thing coming. When you don't even realize that God gave you everything you need to be popping. You just not looking at the opportunities that don't look pretty. And I'm not going to ever show y'all how much money I make. And I'm not going to ever show y'all how much money my clients make. I, I kind of do. I kind of do. Right? I do. And my new coach is like, okay, Felicia, you're going to have to show your story. So you guys may see my screenshots, right? But not deliberately, just so you guys can really see that I do bring in that money, okay? And I know how to close deals. But the most important is that I need you to trust in yourself. And that's what I do with my clients, most importantly. As an entrepreneur, you, nobody going to really believe in you but me and you, Okay? You're going to have to prove yourself to a lot of people, the banks, your husband, your girlfriend, your nephew, your cousin, your, your everybody. But you're not going to have to prove it to me. I'm going to make you so strong and so powerful that you're going to be able to go out and tackle the world. And you're going to be able to call me for like, what's next? So, guys, 2020 is the year that you say God will bless you with everything. He didn't say that you could run a business without accounting. And accounting was in the Bible, please. It's, it's the old age blessing. For businesses. So if y'all want to keep struggling and watching everybody win, because I see y'all, y'all be liking everybody's stuff. It be, I'm over it, Trump. I'm so over it. Y'all be liking everybody's stuff. And you know why I noticed? Because I watch the market for my clients. I watch the market for my clients. I watch everything for my clients. If my clients are in, in the beauty industry, I watch the beauty industry for them. If my clients in this industry, I watch this industry. If my clients in this industry, I watch it for them. And I let them know who their competitors are. And this, this, so you wonder why I know all of that? Because I watch everything. Y'all out here just losing y'all futures and y'all lives and y'all bank accounts. So, guys, you can give me a call. I forgot to invite y'all in. Y'all probably ain't even want me to bite y'all today. 301-232-5700. 2020 is your year. But make sure if you got a business, do your accounting, guys. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back.
Hey guys, welcome back. I know you guys like Felicia, you crazy. Yes, I'm crazy for your success. I am, like my girlfriend said, the modern day Moses. I'm saving you guys from all of this bad investments, all of this stuff. I'm, I'm really trying to change you guys' lives. So yes, the message may not come clear, but you black. And some of y'all African that follow me, we don't ever move without being disciplined. Like, come on now. I don't care what you guys say at all. And everybody tell me that, Falasha Day. Like, to be honest with you, you be ratchet, Falasha Day. But I wouldn't have heard the message if you wasn't loud and screaming and being irate. Like, come on now. The truth is this. You know, culturally, we are tough cookies. And we have been brainwashed to think the latter of what I'm saying. So you're not going to respect it. When it comes so conservative, I've already tried that for three straight years. Go check me out on Periscope. Go scroll all the way back. I was kind of in my office, my big office. Hi, guys. I'm Falashi Day. How are you? Right? And those live streams would get like 100 views. But when I'm me like this, loud and out there and really being honest with you guys, this is where I get like 3,000 views and stuff. Like, it's crazy. But it's okay. Some of you might not take it well, and it's not for you to get in your feelings. It's to really just look yourself in the mirror and say, what do I need to do different? If you think you're going to manage and grow that business to new heights, guess what? Your accounting is going to get you there and keep you there. But if you don't do your accounting, you're going to get there and fall. And if you don't do right by your business that's managing your money, well, you're going to fall. Come on, that's why most people that win a lottery go broke because they were never taught how to manage it. And I'm not talking about personal finance. That's for personal life. For business, it's your accounting. Okay? So you can go and say, Falash, I got a budget. I don't care. If you don't have a business budget and you got a business, you're doing a disservice. If you don't got bookkeeping and you got a business, you're doing a disservice. If you're not managing your stuff, you're doing a disservice, okay? So 2020 is the year that you cannot tell God and the universe that you want success, but you're not doing your accounting. And you want your business to retire you. Remember, we start in business. Well, see, I don't have no job, okay? I ain't had no job since I, last job I worked at was bingo. Delta bingo. Shout out to you guys. Whoop, whoop. Delta bingo. I was like 23. I'm 34 now. I've been self-sufficient and on my own since then, okay? So that should tell you something. So, guys, we're going right into segment two. So, segment two, I got a few year-end tips for you small businesses out here. Many of you are running businesses that are sole proprietors, right? Many of you need to consider not necessarily incorporating your business like an INC, but just registering your business as an LLC or partnership or corporation. I cannot give you legal advice or tax advice on here specific to your personal situation because the type of structure depends on your lifestyle, depends on your industry, depends on your business, depends on where you, your state, depends on your, the, the amount of investments that you have and, and so forth. So many of you are starting these partnerships and don't even know it. I had about five clients that come to us this year, right? And they didn't even know that they signed up to be a partnership though. I had about eight clients that thought they was an a S-Corp it wasn't even an S Corp. Like, I'm so tired of y'all just doing stuff and not hiring an accountant to do stuff, right? Or y'all hiring these cheap accountants that's, that's not even really charging you. You're like, oh, no, Falash, that you too expensive, and then you get taken advantage of. And then I send you a bill of 3000 to get it cleaned up, and you run because you can't afford it because you already done messed yourself up. So this is the thing about accounting, guys. If you don't do it now, it's going to cost you later. I need to start rapping. I do be rapping sometimes, y'all. So that my sister be embarrassed and my daughter be like, oh no, did mommy do that? Yes, hey, Bryn, I did. I didn't rap though. So this is the year you guys need to go into 2020 either incorporating your business as an LLC partnership or corporation. I would say talk to me, get on my calendar to figure out which entity structure works best for your situation or talk with your own personal accountant. Do not sit there and Google because Google cannot say, oh, well, how much money did you make in 2019? Hi, what industry are you in? Okay, what, <laughs> what state? I'm having a blast, y'all. I don't even know. I'm having a blast. Look, Google cannot even say none of that, right? Google cannot tell you why you need to be a certain business entity. So please don't go Googling it. Please just do a consult with somebody. It'll save you so much money in the future. So tip number one, consider 
um, incorporating. Number two, start to prepare your tax work. Shout outs to First Sign, Sign First Mobile Notary, my boy Tommy over there. If you are in Alabama, I'm going to go ahead and give him a little shout out. He probably don't even know. If you're over there in Alabama and you are about to what, close on a house or you need anything notarized, he has a mobile notary company. Tommy is already ready to submit some of his tax paperwork to get started with me again this year. He's been one of my clients for almost three years now. Um, so this is the time many of you need to start gathering your tax paperwork. Consult with your tax professional to get your tax deduction list and your organizers and everything else that they should have sent you or will be sending you to, one, get your stuff in order. But this is the time now to start to do it. Don't wait until the last minute. And many of you are not filing your taxes on time. And, you know, everybody's situation is different, right? But if you can't file on time, file on time. Because you're accumulating penalties and interest. Like right now, me and my team, we're working on somebody that's, um, how many years we doing? 14, 15, 16, 17. We're doing four years of back taxes. The client that ended up getting uh, tax court notices and the IRS and filed our taxes and sent her an assessment and everything else. Like, come on now, guys. Let us be in control. We are business people. We were, bo we were made to be in control, at least 90%, right? But the moment that you start to not do your accounting and the moment you start to not file your tax on time, you are allowing yourself to get caught up in IRS mess. And remember, about last week was the 100-year anniversary of the Criminal Investigative Division of the IRS. Okay, that they was, they was boasting, man, only accountants can catch Al Capone, only accountants, right? That's what the IRS put out there. I was just cracking up laughing because they're right. You guys cannot hide that money from me. You can't hide the money from IRS, so stop it. Get your stuff in order. Number three, review your documentation. So you know we have a full service payroll company here. So we already started uploading the employees' information, their social security numbers, and you know everything else into uh, our clients' accounting sheets. So our clients can go in and adjust the employees' address, social security numbers, and date of births. But then also make sure you filled out the correct W nine form. Make sure that you have everything on file so you can receive your tax forms at the right address. And let me explain. Something something to you guys if you don't do that and the let's say you I'm you I'm paying you right and you have a w9 on file that mean I have your business information I need to send your 1099 right let's say I submit you 1099 and I submit it to the IRS and the information was wrong because you didn't adjust it or correct it do you know the IRS can penalize you for giving us falsified and for false information and we can you can be forced to we could be forced to take out taxes on your behalf because you didn't do what's right so go ahead on and review your documentation guys it just takes a few seconds like this is part of doing business okay this is part of doing business Number four, so this is what I've been doing over the past week. My team might be mad at me, y'all, right? My team might be really mad at me, right? And it's cool. I've been giving a lot of feedback, and everybody's feedback have not been that good because I can't go into a seven-figure year giving back, uh, um, expecting all of my feedback to be happy, go lucky for everybody to be happy at me. My whole team might be mad at me, but they know it's for the greater good. Most of my team have been, been with me for like three and four years now. And they seen us start from nothing. Remember, I started over in 2016. Okay? I started over from nothing. I downsized from my big office, four units, four suites, 1,500 square feet, the works. I downsized and rebuild the way that I want, and I'm so happy. I can be free and travel the world and still service my client on a top-notch level. But... I provided my clients, I said my clients, my employees' feedback, they wasn't happy. Come on now, put your brain into work. Put your heart into it. This is our year. Don't think you about to go with me to next to next year. And I said, I'm giving profit sharing for my team. Y'all out here, y'all not even, y'all not even really giving y'all team enough. I'm giving my team profit sharing. So my team get one and two and three percent of my profits. So if they want a, off that, they, if they want profit sharing off $100,000, 200000 300000 a month, then they have to come to the table. So I had to make sure that, guess what, my office is closed December 23rd until January 3rd, and we're having reviews and assessments because we're going into 2020 about to take over, and we're about to change our lives. 
because I always put your money before mine, but I didn't already help y'all make money, and I'm helping y'all make more money. So God going to make me and my team make so much money because we put money in y'all pocket if y'all do the work. Y'all sitting there texting me about tax strategies, how to invest into a 401k. You ain't not even making money yet. Y'all be so focused on, man, that's a whole nother topic, man. Yeah, we can't even go. I, I can go. Okay? And then the fifth topic is set some real goals. <sighs> set some goals. Stop winging everything. Set goals, like, and realistic goals. So you guys want to go from zero to a million. It's how was that? What lessons, like, you, you think God and the universe is going to allow you to skip the lessons that needs to be learned in between? They're not. You, that's why you guys are struggling right now. Because on your book, it say you want to make 100000 You didn't even make $10,000 yet. Oh, sorry. I want to be mean again. I want to be real mean again. Your books say, your goals say, oh, 100000 But you didn't even make 10000 yet. Where's the strategy for you to make 10000 Y'all coaches be sitting like, y'all be, y'all see, y'all coaches real fluffy out here, man. Y'all keep being sold this fluff, right? And you don't even know it. It is lessons, business lessons. You have to build your business acumen from one level to the next level. You're not going to be able to get to 50000 right, without certain lessons in between. And that $50,000 lesson is supposed to help you get to $100,000. $100,000 lesson is supposed to help you get to a quarter. A quarter of a million dollar lesson is supposed to help you get to 500000 You understand? And so forth and so forth and so forth. It, it was about, it's about hundreds and hundreds of custom businesses that's out here that have failed because they try to grow too fast. And they not here no more. But if you Google a few of them, a few of them is about 33 companies that were bold enough like me. We real bold. We don't even care what y'all say about us. Real bold. 33 of them that's honest and was like, oh, yeah, I grew too fast. I went from zero to 10 million. That's why we're not here anymore. I'm serious, you guys. There are business lessons that has to be learned and mistakes that have to you have to go through so you can learn, okay? So do not. Let's set realistic goals, all right? And then also, let's start put implementing real business practices, okay? Real business practice starts with your accounting. Real business practice starts with your systems and your processes. Real business process, real business starts with sales. You guys are wondering why you're not making money because you don't have the sales training. You guys don't have the systems. You don't have the accounting. But you out here talk about 2020, my year. You don't even have contracts. You don't have no automation, nothing. Your team can't even run at all without you. And so that was another reason why I'm on fire, because a few of my teams were trying to break my processes. I have went through costly mistakes to get the processes that I have, okay? And I refuse to let anybody, new, old, young, whatever, come in and break my processes. I probably lost 10 grand just because to, to get that process in order. I probably lost 15 grand to learn from that mistake. But you guys are not understanding to level up in business. You have to make certain mistakes and you have to go through different levels of business life. In six months, 12 months, one year, two year, three year, four year, 5,000, 10,000, right, right. <laughs> so, no, guys, there are just certain lessons and stuff that you guys have to go through. And the effective way to track those mistakes and those lessons and your strengths and your weaknesses and all the challenges that you guys are going through in your business is through your accounting. I became an accountant specifically because I knew it ruled the world. Every big business dominated on all you little guys because they used their accounting. Every big business got big because they used their accounting. Look at uh, my boy uh, Bezos. He was in the, in, the, in the garage. Look at him now. You think that he did that without looking at the numbers? Are you foolish? Shh. Like Bryce would say, shh. Bryce, my little two-year-old, he'd be like, shh. No, 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 no. Bezos used the numbers. Everybody used the numbers. And if you guys want to ever understand why 
Small black owned businesses are struggling till this day. Ask them for their financial statements. And I guarantee you they couldn't do what my client did today. My client called my office and said, hey, Randy, Felicia Day said her phone acting up because I don't know what's going on, y'all. My phone Sprint got to go. Sprint, I got to go. So me and Trump were just talking about that. I'm going to go to call Verizon and move my phone over with them. But they called, the client called me, right, on my personal line and said that they needed their financial statements. Oh, and of a click of a button, we sent the financial statements. And it said $2.9 million in revenue. So you didn't think she got approved for that loan today? She did got to approve. She got approved. She got approved. Okay? So, guys, we about to close out. But this is not my last time seeing you guys before 2020. Next week is going to be my last time seeing you guys. And I want you guys to make me proud. Do y'all know y'all make me cry? Because I see y'all businesses failing. Y'all make me cry so much. And this is why God made me who I am. Y'all not going to like me, but y'all going to love me some way, somehow. Because y'all going to be like, for last day is the reason why I'm doing my accounting. She screamed at me. She hurt my feelings. And that's okay. Everybody always hurt my feelings. You guys hurt my feelings because I already know that if the average black business did their accounting, you guys would be much more successful than where you are right now. The moment that you guys start a business, I don't even know why y'all want to keep bootstrapping y'all business. Y'all keep watching Gary V and Gary V, he didn't even tell y'all. See, this is what pisses me off about these greats. And then I'm going to close out after this. Gary V said in one of his videos, and because I pay attention to detail, I forgot, and I got to find one of my notebooks that got it written down. He wasn't paying his staff a lot when he started off his company. He didn't. He didn't. This is why all of them make more money than him, the people that rocked it out with him, because they get profit sharing and stuff. He couldn't. But you guys, but he still paid his accountant. Even my boy Andy Frisella, his accountant was getting paid more than him. But they the white boys, huh? Well, Gary ain't even right, Rush or whatever, right? But we black folks think, oh, I'm just not going to afford a county right now. It's not that important right now. And you don't get nowhere. After five years, you should at least be making a hundred thousand. If you still making twenty five thousand, oh Lord, y'all about to hurt my feelings. I'm about to hurt um, y'all. Y'all be, I'm be. See, if you only making fifty thousand, you been in business for five years. Shame on you, bro. Shame on you, sister. Shame on you because that shows you you don't have the numbers and you making costly mistakes and you hiring a coach at the coach waiting for every opportunity and you don't even understand the opportunity lies in your numbers. The opportunity show you what you your, your accounting shows you the mistakes you're making and shows you what's working. Your accounting shows you all of that. So if you guys think that 2020 is going to be your year, start off the year with your accounting and do it and stop trying to do it yourself. Y'all been fooled. TurboTax is a money hawking machine. Okay, QuickBooks is a money hawking machine. Accounting is challenging. Y'all should see us in the groups posting, oh, how you do this trade? After 5 to 10 to 15 years of studying, okay? And y'all think y'all can do our job. Y'all being fooled. Stop trying to DIY accounting and DIY your taxes and DIY your book and DIY your business. Do your business yourself. Do your business a favor. Do your business, guys, okay? So I'm your girl, Felicia Day, the accountability account, guys. Today was lit. Y'all might be mad at me, but I've always been the one that's hated. I don't care. I don't care. What I care about is you say I'm going to do my accounting for last day. What you're going to say is that for last day, if it wasn't for you, all my clients that know that's making progress in their business, they know. They be mad to say, oh, for last day, if it wasn't for you. But it's okay. So, guys, go ahead and follow me on all things social media, Falasha Data account. If you want to work with me, go to bit.ly forward slash quick tax check. Get on my calendar. I, I cannot take a lot of you this year. I already have about 25 people that's already on the wait list coming in and starting in January. And eventually my CPA that we just hired today, well, no, hired last week, she'll be taking over some of my roles. But she got my processes because it's my processes, right, my brain on paper, right? So she be able to do what you guys, how I do with all my clients or whatever. Um, but that's growth right there too, y'all. So you always, one, one thing you want to understand is that when opportunity, when preparation meets opportunity, you work on it. But if you guys are not preparing yourself, your opportunities won't come. So guys, that was it. I'll see you all next week. Love you. Bye.